A few years ago, I found myself at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. At the time, left an abusive marriage. It was very clear that things were escalating, you know. I was dealing with a level of chaos hard to describe. Before I left for the hike, my family room window was shattered. There was glass everywhere. And there's my daughter's Barbie dolls in the middle of all the broken glass. Life was always not knowing hour to hour. I had no idea what was gonna happen any day. And still working full time and getting the kids to school, deal with the legal system. I always talk about the outdoors. If you ever just need to escape because of life's chaos, it's always there for you. My friend would take groups down there every year. He messaged me and was like, do you want to go? Total gut reaction in the moment. I need to go see that and be in that place. I'd never been there. I'd only seen pictures. You couldn't really grasp the gravity of the space, the size of everything, the size of you, the quiet, because the quiet was like what was so profound. All of the chaos that I had in my life, while seeming galactic, there I was, stripped down to me in a backpack and some crummy tennis shoes. I had zero experience with backpacking. It was like a learning experience in so many ways. You know, I can do hard things, because you've been through like the hard emotional stuff, but it was a hard physical thing. Bring my notebook with me and take notes about stuff I was thinking about, because for the first time in a long time, it was quiet for me trying to focus on what I wanted, this thought came up, I want someone who would be captivated by me. I said it out loud and I felt like I could because there was this just huge rock next to me. I just felt compelled in that moment. On with the hike and it's through these just beautiful landscapes that you can only see if you get in there. Bigger than I thought it would be, more beautiful than I thought it would be. We camped and we had everything we needed on our backs. So every day you'd kind of hike from your campsite out to different waterfalls. I was writing in my journal, and one of the guys in the group, his name is Ron, just looked at me and he was like, what are you writing? And I was like, well, you really want to know? <laughs> so that was like the first conversation. I'd let anybody know where my mind was at. So we went to this waterfall on our last day and decided to jump. As soon as I get up there, feet were not moving. Like I was just stuck. I just kept looking back at Ron for some reason. Like I didn't even know him, but somehow we were communicating. I'm scared to death and this is comforting. When I go to look back at him, he's right in front of me and I just look up at him and then he just jumped off backwards. The whole thing was in slow motion as I'm falling back in the water. Like what just happened? <laughs> I guess that's just all I needed. And then I jumped in. It was a pretty unforgettable moment. After that, we've been together like ever since. I believe very, very much in the universe. Our paths met in the Grand Canyon of all places. There's a lot more to the Grand Canyon once you get in there. Well, today we're in a slot canyon that we never even knew existed off of the Colorado River. Every turn you get in something different. It's always changing its face. There's the canyon walls, the color of the rock. There's spots where it is lush and green. And then you see these waterfalls that look like they can't possibly be in the desert. It's not just a national park, it's one of the world wonders. And there's reason for that because it is so colossal. I mean, there's so much to see. There's so many different ways to experience it. It's a moment, it's the trip. You can feel how big it is a little bit from above, but you cannot possibly understand it until you're down there on the bottom looking up. Amongst these giant walls, pretty profound. That trip to the Grand Canyon absolutely changed my life. I have a difficult time putting words to it. I'm grateful for everything he shows me, like flip some of that negative energy into how could I help someone else? And those are the roots of For Your Record, a nonprofit that Ron and I started to support domestic abuse survivors, and help them know what's coming on that very turbulent road ahead. As we're like building our relationship and we're talking, he had sent a text message, I'm just captivated by you. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> that's not anything I've said out loud, except to myself and to the Grand Canyon. 
And here it was. I joke that the canyon isn't very good at keeping secrets, but I mean, it must not be, right? Meeting somebody in the Grand Canyon, that's an experience in itself. Not just meeting somebody, but meeting somebody who turns out to be the love of your life. You know, what, what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> In no way was I like, I'm going to go down and change who I am and change my life. Never in a million years. He's something I never even knew was possible. She is everything to me. She's just such an example of an amazing human. That's where it started. It wouldn't be had it not been for the Grand Canyon. You take away from it what you give to it, I think.